there's something really intimate about acoustic man and and uh you know freeing for some reason even though the acoustic playing an acoustic oftentimes is very unforgiving uh but it's something about just uh the intimacy of just you know and the and the beautiful uh aspect of of, of just uh, acoustic guitar is uh it touches me man i mean playing electric does too but uh just something about acoustic just really beautiful <clears throat> Hey everybody, this is Eric Gales, and you're listening to On The Record with Ultimate Guitar. So, uh, last time I talked to you, it's been almost two years, uh, was for Crown. Uh, do you have anything, uh, any sort of new material in the works? Uh, i got some things that's kind of dancing around. I hadn't, you know, got to, uh, you know, anything studio-wise yet, because, uh, you know, since Crown came out, we've been, I've been devoting uh, most of my time, to, uh, you know, out here, you know, promoting it and trying to ensure that as many people as possible uh, can get a chance to be exposed to it and, and listen at it and, and uh, you know, just uh, be pretty diligent about, you know, pushing crown. But, uh, you know, I, I, I feel I feel my fingers itching. So something is uh, something is, is, is going to be in the works here uh, pretty soon. I think you told me at one point that you prefer playing acoustically. Is there a possibility that there's an acoustic album in the works? I actually got an acoustic record. Uh, uh, the pandemic, during the pandemic, it was, uh, you know, idle. a lot of idle time was on, I think, everyone's hands. And um, I got one kind of sitting on a shelf for a minute. I'm just, uh, you know, picking and choosing the right time to, to, to strike with it. Uh, um uh uh i gotta go back and listen to it and and, 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 and uh you know regather my thoughts about it again but uh yeah acoustic man it's just it's something really intimate about acoustic man and and uh you know freeing for some reason even though the acoustic playing an acoustic oftentimes is very unforgiving uh but it's something about just uh the intimacy of just you know and the and the beautiful uh, aspect of, of, of just uh, acoustic guitar is uh, it touches me, man. I mean, playing electric does too, but uh, just something about acoustic just really beautiful. <clears throat> is that where you started out? Did you start out on acoustic guitar? You seem so natural and comfortable when you're playing acoustically. No, I actually started out on electric, man. Uh, started on electric, man, and, and, and found myself, you know, saying, hey, what's that thing? And, uh, you know, say that yeah and got six strings on it let's see what we can do on the and the journey began from there so being out on the road are you still playing all your signature stuff your signature amp your signature guitar you got a signature pedal which i love by the way thank you uh yeah yeah i'm still still using i love it man it's, it all still works so <laughs> it uh it is uh definitely uh it's in the arsenal for sure how'd you get hooked up with maestro and uh in designing that signature guitar there's a lot of little tweaks on a on a stratocaster design what what were some of the flaws that you hope to uh to correct with your maestro signature guitar it wasn't an it wasn't a uh a, a vision per se of of uh, things that i saw that really bothered me about a strat you know as as per se making something be you know uh a little different than what a strat is to not be mimicking exactly what a strat is um uh, uh yeah i grew up playing strat configurated guitars uh you know predominantly uh, the strat style more or less let me use that term strat style uh three single you know three single coil pickups and you know uh, but definitely been exposed to, you know, your Gibsons and your SGs and your flying, flying Gs and 335s and, and, uh, Telecasters and, 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 and other different styles. Um, it's, it was just that, you know, you, 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 throughout the years, there's been a lot of different, um, signature instruments that have come about that if there is going to be the talk of a signature 
instrument, it has to be something that's different from what everybody else has done. And and for me, one of those things is that Magneto was a company that through all of the ups and downs in my personal life, Magneto had been there. There are other companies that have as well. Uh, but Magneto was one of the ones that, you know, I really liked how, you know, the neck feel and, and, and it's just one of those guitars that that you could play all day. Um, not that a, a, a Strat isn't, but there is uh, a little difference in, in uh, the way the neck feels to me uh, of, you know, my signature Magneto that is not so rounded as a, a Stratocaster style neck, but uh you know more of a flat 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 radius across it's uh just i sat down and, and and began to play and before i knew it it was you know you know six seven hours later and i'm still toying around on the thing and uh, i'm like yo man i like this a whole lot and um uh, you know so me and uh christian uh the president of of magneto guitars we, we were we were friends and the guy and christian was just so so down to earth man and uh you know he said i want i want to be able to put something in your hands that you know that you feel like you can play you know all day and uh that's exactly that's exactly what happened man and, and uh we just went from there and uh it's hard to go out of, although i have a, a an arsenal of quite a few guitars that I have, it's hard for me to go out without at least one of them being the Magneto. And, uh, <clears throat> uh, of course it's also tied into because, you know, I have, uh, you know, this situation going on now where I take them out on the road and I have them for sale out on tour and, uh, and they're selling, I can't keep them enough people, you know, at least, at least two or three are bought at every show. And, uh, that's really, 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 really nice. I mean, that's a really good feeling that, uh, you know, people, you know, want to. And that's my first time ever doing something like that out of my career, you know, uh, as far as, you know, a signature guitar and, you know, and then that made me develop that idea with the pedal and, 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 the, and, and the D remark amp head. And, you know, hey, man, people are out there just itching to buy stuff. Believe it or not, and uh, I hate. I just found this out this late in the game. <laughs> I would have, uh, you know, maybe capitalized on this much, much sooner in life and in my career. But uh, taking a good old page out of my friend Joe Bonamassa's book, you know, hey, if they see you with it and and, and uh, you have them for sale, somebody's going to buy it. But I have, uh, I have just, I like this. You know, first of all, you know, again, I'm, I'm really speaking more of the you know, personal friendship that me and the owner have had. And uh, he just so happened to make a guitar that, you know, feels like butter to me. And uh, I hope every single person that winds up acquiring one of these guitars feel just as comfortable as I do with it. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I could talk all day about, you know, the uh, the relationship that me and, and, and the company has, but... Uh, and then and then and then they I mean I'm not playing them just because, you know, of of monetary gain or whatever, but I really like how they sound. They sound great to me. Uh there's nothing that I'm limited at in uh I can do anything I want with them, so that's pretty cool too. Yeah, they sound great to me too. Uh <laughs> that's that's the sound you're hearing on on Crown, right? That's that's the guitar that you use. Yeah, ninety five percent of the record was done with uh, uh, other songs had, you know, something involving the Magneto on them in one way or another. So when you get your stage guitars, is there anything that you do to them, mod them at all, just to make them fit your playing style? Or, uh, you know, how do those compare to the ones that people are buying at shows? Uh, nothing any different, actually. You know, the stage, uh, nothing. I mean, it's, it comes off the shelf, you know, actually set up pretty good i mean pretty close to how i like my stuff set up i like really low action as low as you can get and uh you know i use 10 through 40 10 through 46 strings and uh uh and and uh it just you know I, I honestly could take one straight out the box and go and go and go with it and and and, and be perfectly fine uh but again 
to a person that purchases one, you know, of course, you know, I advise you to, you know, take it to your setup person or whatever, because everybody don't like, you know, everybody else's setup or whatever. But to me, you know, I just love low action and, you know, maybe a, a pickup adjustment here and there, uh, you know, for the taste of how loud or how soft that you like the pickups uh, in comparison to each other. And how they were, con uh, you know, conject. I mean, uh, uh, connecting with each other, uh, and uh, plug it in and go from there. So that's that's not much. Uh, that's not much, man. I mean, the way they come, I don't know if that was because of how me and Chris sat out when we were when we were developing the signature model. That they are, in my opinion, set up pretty close to how I like them. <clears throat> uh, you know, off the assembly line. Uh, give or take, you know, uh, you know, a, a little small dimension here and there, but um, uh, no. To answer the question in 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 the in the long way, in the short way, no, there's absolutely nothing really that I do. I'm I'm ready to go with it. And and you do have a pretty unique playing style where it is a right-handed guitar. I was wondering if they offered them right-handed, even though yours are technically right-handed guitars set up, but you play them left-handed. I'm confusing everybody. If nobody's seen Eric play, go look at a video of him playing the guitar. It's incredible. Um, I've tried to do that left-handed. Can't do it. I don't know how it... How did you How did you wind up with that style? You know, ironically, I got two older brothers that play left-handed upside down, too. And, uh, you know, maybe subconsciously, it was from me watching them. And uh, I picked it up the same way, but I just picked it up and uh, off to the races. But... Um, to, back to the subject of the guitar, the guitar is set up for a, a, a right-handed person. Uh, you know, uh, and, and the, the one, the, the back to the other question of the one thing that is could be if you would label it a disadvantage is the cutaway on strat and it's not to my advantage on the other side to get all the way down the neck. Uh, uh, but you know, I, I I figured out a way to you know get around that even playing strats and things like that, you know, you just, you know, there's a way to, you know, you, you want to learn something or be something bad enough, you'll figure out a way to do it. But that is something that affords me uh, uh, a much easier access all the way down the neck that uh, the way that the, uh, my, my signature Magneto is set up, you know, it's, um, the, the colorways are even on both sides. So, uh, and uh, for me, uh, in the in in my in my model, the dots are on my uh, on the side where I can see them. I've always played guitars where the dots are on the other side of the neck, and you know either you know either you just know the neck really well, or you have to with a a little marker or something like that, put where you are, so you can see. But uh, uh, we joked about it, but uh, but it was a real it was a real actually real situation to you know just in case there are a few uh, left-handers out there that actually wind up buying the guitar, there are, uh, the, the dots are to the advantage of a left-handed player. Have there been efforts on anybody's part to try to get you to play left-handed guitars? Yes, there have been some that have, you know, uh, made, I've uh, got a couple of uh, uh, prototype that's, uh, that's in my arsenal that are, are made left-handed, but to be played right-handed. Um, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I said that right, but they uh, have a, a left-handed body, but we're still strong right-handed, though. Uh, and uh, particularly, I, it, it looks weird to me, though, for some reason, because I'm so used to playing, you know, right-handed stuff, just flipping it over and doing it upside down. You know what I mean? That even if the knobs and uh, and everything was made to the other side that would feel like pretty that would feel like that would feel like pretty uh abnormal to me so i've gotten used to the abnormality of you know playing against the grain uh and it feels strange uh when i'm approached with being able to play with stuff more i guess in the favor of uh a left-handed player, if you will, and uh, no, but no one has not necessarily tried to, you know, impose or 
anything like that. You know, it's it just works for me with with how how it's been going. I don't know why, and the more I think about it, it just seems a little strange to try to play. You know, a left-handed body. I mean, they're cool, though. I mean, if you think about it, it's a great, it's a clutch idea uh, to uh, you know come up with an Eric Gales model that's left-handed guitar, uh, but with right-handed you know uh configurations and things like that but i do have a couple of prototype things that that i have around and and uh just every time i pick them up it seems a little strange because <clears throat> it's you know that's that's not how i grew up playing them uh but then in the end of the day give me enough time with it i mean i could get myself adjusted to it uh with you know with no problem but no not really nobody you know came to me with some massive deal you know, a few million dollars to let's put this, you know, style guitar out or anything like that. Now, I mean, if it was a few million dollars, we might could talk about something. And, you know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure out, you know, this left-handed body, right-handed, strung-up style guitar, if that's really what you want to... If, 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 since, since you're talking a few million, we might can, you know, have a discussion. Well, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. You've been very gracious with your time. But uh, is there anything else you'd like to say to uh, to those coming to Ultimate Guitar, looking up tablature, trying to learn your songs? Hey, man, just stay in it for the stay in it for as long as you can. Uh, keep trying to find that inspiration because that's what gives you the drive to keep going. And uh, uh, just keep doing what you're doing, man. You know, world's a much better place with music in it, and um, your contribution means something. Well, thank you so much for, for your time. I really appreciate it. No worries, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.